Hey, it's Jodie Millwood here. Now I'm just going to show you this nice little hack um, from Facebook. It's not a hack, but I'm just going to show you how to set up, set it up. It's cross posting. Okay, so this is really effective if you've got a business partnership like I see myself and Dawn here, and um, you know you want to go on your page and their page as well. This is using a feature called cross posting. Now it can be a bit tricky, okay? I had set it up and I'd had issues with it in the past and then I just sort of had stumbled across how to um, make it actually work, okay? There's a few details in there they don't really tell you about. So I just wanna show you. And this is what cross posting looks like. As you'll see here, this is my page, and you'll see it says Jodie Millwood was live and, and this is the video. So it's all here, looking as if it's native on my newsfeed because you know what normally happens, if you were to go live on someone else's page and you wanna put it on your page, you'd click the share button and you can see that you know it's been shared across, okay? It's not looking native. Whereas here, you'll see on my page, here's the video. And then on the Business Besties page, which we actually went live from, here it is again. Okay, so this is where it's gone native. But see, you can see it looks like this here, that yes, it's native and organic. And there, it's looking exactly the same on my page. That's a feature called cross-posting. And this can be a very effective thing to do, like when um, you may have like um, a launch and multiple people using, uh, you know, your videos. So, or your client's video, so it can be on your page or your client's page, as well as the affiliate or the joint venture partner's page, okay? And it will all be attributed back to your audience, all right? So, that's my page, that's the Business Besties page. Now, how do we set it up? Well, first of all, you need to establish a cross-posting relationship with the pages. So, on the page, we'll go to Settings. Down here on the left, you see there's cross-posting. Okay, so here, these are the pages that I've selected that I, I cross post with. Now, you can, um, again, select what limitations you want, like the live videos, their live videos. Okay, automatically post or manually post. Um, and uh, these non-live videos. Non-live videos must be manually cross-posted. Okay, so that's if, if Dawn would upload something, um, I don't particularly want... Um, <laughs> no offence Dawn, but I may not want a video that she's uploaded to her page to automatically go over onto my page. So I've said no to non-live videos, but live videos, um, we can cross post, okay? Okay, and their live videos and your live videos, okay? So that means if um, you've allowed Dawn to automatically cross post their live videos to your page, okay? So that's where you'll look at these sort of little features and set up. So you'll have to go cross posting. So you will need to add them to your page. And then, so say for example, so this is my page. So if I were to go to the business besties, look at their cross posting, I would see my page here. It would be Jodie Millwood would be here. Okay, so you need to add the cross posting permissions on each other's pages. Now, that's not where it ends. This is the bit that you need to know. So what we do then is um, if we schedule a Facebook Live. Okay, let me see. I've scheduled one. Where is it? Here. Okay. So here's a scheduled Facebook Live. I've set it up through Be Live TV. It's going live on Friday. And here in this admin only, edit your details. We click on this button to edit. Okay, and now over here, we're going to click on settings and see what it says cross posting. So we click on that. And so this is then going to, if I say yes, I want it to cross post here, I want it to cross post to business besties, um, all pages. Oh, I don't want it all pages of my business manager. <laughs> I have a few unhappy clients. Uh, that's the one I want. That could be close. Okay, so social tally or cross post it there. I'm not going to put it to Dawn's page, but it's going to go to the business besties page. All right, so that's what you need to do. So now, before I click save, if we look here in business besties, we'll see that, okay, that was today's video. Um, that was a post that was published a few days ago. So you'll see that um, 
the upcoming video is not on here. Okay. So now when I go back, oh, where is it? Here. And I click on save. And save again. So it's going to cross post to business besties and social Charlie. So I'll go to the business besties page here. I'll just refresh. Now we should see that live is scheduled. One video added this week, you can cross post. Um, see, so that is the same as this upcoming one. It's pulled in a different image. I'm not sure why that has happened. It seems to have pulled, well, okay. This image is the header for my page. Okay, so it's pulled in the Business Besties uh, cover image as well for, for it. Okay, so that's the post on my page. And then here it is cross posted onto the Business Besties page. I'm not sure with Be Live, you know, you can select a cover image to go with your scheduled live. I select it and it never shows the right image. So I don't know what they're doing there. So, but anyway, so it'll pull up the cover image of the other page that you've cross posted to on their page, okay? So that's how you set up cross posting. Very handy when you've got people that are doing videos together and sharing it from their pages and going, oh, is it your page or my page? What should we do? Um, so this will put, you can cross post it to the same pages, at, you know, multiple pages at the same time and make it look like it's organic on the newsfeed. It's not been shared across. So I hope you find that useful and you go, wow, I can use that in this, this, this way. So that's it from me today. Enjoy.